Hi, I'm going to take this video to define what the World Wide Web is and also mention a couple of different types of World Wide Web networks. We're going to, in other videos, look at different examples of things on the web, but for now, just sort of a high level what it is. So, www stands for World Wide Web. You must know that at a minimum. Also called just the web. If you hear somebody say, I'm going on the web, they mean they're going on the World Wide Web, the www. So this is a collection of resources which are connected through hyperlinks. And the entire World Wide Web, you know, we're talking about billions, if not trillions of individual resources. And by resources, I mean really software. In most cases, web pages. So you write web pages in something like HTML and put it on a web server. And the hyperlinks are the links you click to move you between web pages. So a common misconception is that the internet and the World Wide Web are the same thing, which they're not. So the internet is different to the World Wide Web. We said the internet is the global system of, well, it's really a network of networks. The World Wide Web is just software hosted on the internet most of the time. So the internet is our most common way to access World Wide Web resources, things like web pages. But it's not the only way, and there are other things on the internet which are not part of the World Wide Web. Now, the internet itself, of course, is a public network. Not one person, not one organization owns the internet. It's available for everyone to connect to, as long as they run the protocols required. And it's open access, meaning anyone can view anything they want, or at least try and view anything they want. So this means if you are, say, putting a web page on the internet, Anyone in the world can request viewing this web page, this web resource. Doesn't mean you have to show it to them, right? I could go and request a login to Instagram. Doesn't mean Instagram are going to let me log in to a random account, right? You can limit it if you own the web resource, but everyone can try and access it. This isn't the only way to do things, actually, though. Despite the internet being our most common way of having World Wide Web running. You can also host it on, say, intranets. An intranet, as opposed to internet, is an internal private network. So an intranet is belonging just to one person or just one organization. This network is not connected up to the internet, at least not without using something like a VPN. So what happens relatively often is organizations may host an internal website on their intranet. So this intranet is a private network. They might put a website on this intranet so that only employees within the company can access it. Now, it's hard getting pictures of intranets because they are, by definition, private. But here's a picture from a company's intranet. Only people inside the company can view this web page. It's not available publicly on the internet. Not even a login. It's only available from inside the company. And there might be private stuff here. There might be certain pages and files only available to employees and things which should be kept quite private. It ensures that nobody outside of a company is able to access the stuff inside. Occasionally, though, you might want a bit of both. You might want most of it private, but some of it more open. So another network is an extranet. An extranet are less common, I would say. These are also internal and private networks. But the difference is, these are partly open. They partly allow access from those outside of this organization. So the internal website might have another page which does allow access to something via the internet. Right? There might be a web page which you log into and allows you access to part of this internal network. So I guess to summarize this whole video, the World Wide Web is this system of connected resources. In most cases, those resources are web pages. And in the majority of the time, you access these web resources through the internet. But it's not the only way. You can also use intranets, which are private and have limited access. Or you can also use an extranet, which is a private network with some access to the outside world, often via the internet. So extranets and intranets are less common, but are still used by businesses when they want some privacy.